Welcome back to video four of the Big Red Barn Spring 2022. We're here in Round Top, Texas. And as always, I um, like to say I'm buying rare pieces and whole collections. And everything you see in the video is for sale. If you uh, see something you would like or want additional photos or have a question, please email or text me. And with that, we will begin where we left off. And here's a large shoulder vase. It's 17 inches tall. It was probably done by either Clark or Ohio cut glass. They were the ones that I know to do these blanks. The cane is reminiscent of Othello. Um, scallop top with step cutting. And very well cut, heavily cut piece. Great example and it is $24.95. Have an unusual pair of flute shaped decanter, flute pattern decanters. They're in a globe form and then they're footed, clear, deep fluting. And then what's unique is that they have the corresponding matching um, flute-like sterling stoppers. And the pair is only $6.95. This is an item that was in my personal collection for many, many years. It's a very rare cut glass coffee pot. It's cut in the India pattern or Harvard, probably by Bergen. Has a completely original spout, which is rare to find. Pattern cut top, and it's got the matching footed cream and sugar, pop star bases on everything. Um, just a wonderful set and one of the rarest items in cut glass and it is 11,500. Another coffee pot duplicating the one in my personal collection is this Alhambra pattern by Meriden with the Sterling Wilcox top. Um, one of the most collected patterns in cut glass and it is 5,500. There's a beautiful cranberry cut to clear, whiskey bottle, pattern cut colored stopper, solid neck ring, swirling design, probably by Jay Hoare, and it is 6,500, and it's a nice 16 inches tall. It's a really cute sugar bowl. It's cut in the Raleigh pattern by Kelly and Steinem. Beautiful clear blank, really excellent quality cutting and the pattern is shown on page 30 of their catalog and the sugar is only $45. Here's a neat shape reversible vase. It's a chalice form. It's nice quality, heavy blank, top star centered pinwheel, uh, elongated uh, hollow diamonds, and then hop star and cane on the base. It's 10 and a half inches tall and it is 265. Very rare tumbler cut by Hawks. It's in their starlight pattern shown in um, American Cut Glass Industry by Jane Spillman. Kuinor cutting, beautiful um, holly engraving, hollow uh, engraving, copper wheel engraving, I should say. And the single tumbler is 175. It's got the flared rim, very rare piece. It's a really nice tall pitcher, very wide base, heavily cut, got great hop stars that are cascading into smaller and smaller sizes, um, cane bands that add a lot of brilliance to the piece, double joint punty cut handle, the handle is probably an inch thick. It's a very heavy blank, high, high quality. The base is um, a little over six inches in diameter. That's one of the nicest pictures I've had in a very long time. It is $5.95. Here's a great trophy. It's pictured on the front of the um, ACGA Meriden Silver Mounted Catalog. And of course, this is Alhambra. Uh, a very fine blank on all the pieces. Comes with six tumblers, just as is pictured on the front of the catalog. Has the Wilcox Sterling top. Uh, again, a very beautiful set, and it is 5,800. This is an extremely large uh, bowling pin vase. 
extra thick blank, a very, very heavy piece. It's cut in the Ogantz pattern by Drake, and it's shown uh, on page 200 of the Revy book. Again, it's 16 inches tall, one of the largest uh, bowling pins you'll ever see. Very heavy, very impressive piece, and it's a nice buy at 2850. There's a Queen's pattern cylinder vase by Hawks. It's shown on page 199 of the American Cut Glass Industry book. By James Billman. It's 10 inches tall. It's a fairly scarce form by Hawks and it's uh, excellent quality and it's 535. It's not something I normally dabble in but it's this is a really nice silver overlay squat cologne has a matching stopper. Really well done. Um, Squatty blank, squatty shape, and it is 275. Here's an outstanding cylinder vase, a big, big one. It's 16 inch, I'm sorry, 14 inches tall and five inches in diameter. It's cut in uh, gooseberries and pears by Pitkin and Brooks. It's probably one of the nicest Pitkin and Brooks pieces I've had. Great copper wheel engraving, nice geometric cuts. Bands of hop stars and cross hatching, and it is 1850. And then here's a beautiful Hawks Brunswick decanter, very elegant shape, has a matching pattern cut stopper, has a neck ring, and it's signed. It's really good quality. Uh, seldom seen shape, and it is 2750. Here's a set of 12 water goblets, and they are cut in the uh, St. Regis pattern by Hawks. Rare to find a set of 12 that's intact. Good cutting, solid, rounded stem, uh, star cut base, and the set of 12 is $7.95. Unusual hollow diamond decanter. The blank is a Dorflinger blank. Um, I don't know that this is a Dorflinger pattern though. It's cut in diamond bands around the flared or widened shoulder. Beautiful quality, unusual fluted hollow stopper. It's 12 inches tall, 6 inches in diameter, and it's $4.95. There's a squarish blank. Cologne, really well cut on a very clear blank. It's eight and a quarter inches tall. Faceted stopper as expected, and it is $3.95. A nice whiskey bottle in Uncatina by Pearpoint. It's nine inches tall. Um, pattern is pictured in there. Catalog, beautiful teardrop in the stopper. And the stopper is also fluted. Punty cut handle, and it is $3.95. So, Dorflinger whiskey bottle cut in strawberry diamond and fan, early pattern. It's eight and a quarter inches tall, has the pattern cut plug stopper, has the um, hob diamond pattern cut handle, which is a Dorflinger trademark. Nice clear blank, excellent quality, and that's a bargain at only $365. There's a single tumbler cut in the Kingston pattern by Libby, and it's signed and it's $45. Here's a rarity uh, tumbler cut in the Comet pattern by Hawks, and it is signed. Uh, the only reference for this is the Wire Book, and it's on page 51. That's a very rare tumbler. I only had two of these and it is 165 and this is the last one. It's a simple pinwheel tumbler with unusual um, blazing or feathering motifs on the side. Four inches tall, three inches diameter and it is $25. So, footed hob diamond cologne, nice little wafer base. Uh, very early, most likely Mount Washington, pre-1900 piece, 
and it is 265. It's really neat looking piece. This is one I've always liked. It's a corset shaped decanter, small, I guess a liqueur decanter, cut in the Albany pattern by Meriden. Pattern cut stopper, just a cute little guy. Has punties on top and then notch prisms around the entire body. It's 10 and a quarter inches tall and it is 545. These are very elegant, tall goblets, cut, cut and engraved by Hawks. They're signed with a block letter signature. Really nice engraving that's polished out, so it's a rock crystal engraving. Beautiful detail. Um, St. Louis diamond stem, which is very ornately cut, and then even uh, engraving on the base. These are tall, so they're about close to eight, seven and a half, eight inches tall. And I have five of these and they are 125 each. Here we have a couple of bells. This one um, is similar to Texel by Clark Maple City. It's a little bit larger than typical, has the fluted notched handle, nice cane cutting. Uh, it's $4.95. And then another bell, I believe this is Fry but I have not matched the pattern. It's got a pattern cut handle, which is always really nice. Just excellent quality. It has the uh, Sterling Stout uh, clapper, of course. And it is $6.95. The pattern cut handle really makes this one. And that will conclude video four. Thank you and stay tuned for video five.